Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. And am I running? Yeah. I want to point these two guys out. Early in the series, I got kind of razzed for allowing the forestry up over there to continue for most of an episode with storage is full with people saying well how, they, how do you expect anybody to go cut logs down if your storage is full because they won't accept anymore and yet these guys brought a log in and they went right back out to go cut some more some more logs i figured that if they're willing to go past their 18 limit you know 606 to work on these they were going to ignore that as well and i'm watching them ignore it so yeah i did nothing wrong anyway i was over here watching them because i was waiting for this thing to fill up i want a worker to pop into here before the river thaws i'm certain that i saw these guys running on a frozen river which kind of irks me that this one specifically said it did not work when the river was frozen of course that's the way it should be but then i certain i saw these guys running at the very beginning when we first had just this guy going and that's why i started shutting it down just because it looked funny to have you know the ro the river frozen in december yet these guys are still working and the paddle wheel was was just doing its thing unless i'm remembering that wrong but i can't get anybody to employ there to to prove it um <clears throat> These carts are broken, and unfortunately for the new cart shed, I went ahead and ordered all four. So they're not going to do any more repairs until they have built these four. So it'll be a while before that one gets worked on again. By the time that happens, is it this one? Yeah, more of these will break down and more of these will break down. So we're going to have a little bit of a cart apocalypse for a bit, but it will resolve itself fine. But yeah, nobody wants to work here right now. It is a, a job quite a ways away from other houses. So these two are among the harder ones to hire, kind of like hiring the, the mine. But we do have two that have managed to do that. Um, when we get to March, I need to remember to click on this building because we've got I'm sure there's enough iron ore there to get a batch going so got laborers bringing them otherwise we're scheduled to hire again first of March and yeah, get this guy running although what does that mean just one person okay we can spare one person uh, I was gonna say we can do that in April instead and get the sewing done uh, charcoal is in all five pits. You are full. You never have enough firewood, and you never have enough logs to make firewood. Yeah, one log just showed up, and the rest of you are getting a log. Oh, where'd you guys... Oh, interesting. You're coming from back in here. There's no building site back here. And you aren't finished with your red X's over here, are you? You are. Oh, they've wiped everything out over here now. Okay, so the logs are going to start coming in a lot faster now because they're going to be working on these. Yeah, and once that's done, I've got to figure out where to send them. Do we want to maintain a forest in here, or do we want to clear this island out? I don't know. And at the very least, they're going to take out the trees immediately near their place, which should, you know, kind of scatter right in here and probably just make an arch as they go deeper in. Hmm. Well, maybe by then we will have figured out what to do in here as far as the central granary that we want to plan. Um, we are middle of, we are not hired yet. And are you guys taking a rest, going to work, and waiting for a partner? So where's the going to work? Let's speed you up. Waiting for a partner, just to kind of prove one more time whether that was already in the queue or they're off to go get into the log. Yep, so they have no problem with the uh, storage being full as far as bringing logs in. Okay, I feel vindicated. <laughs> All right, so what else is happening in town? We are building a house over here, I believe. Uh, one of these guys, yeah. So all the materials are there, just waiting for folks to show up. And I've got it set right now so that all the builders continue working during sowing season. I think we've got enough people now with both cart sheds and both fishing, uh, fishing docks shut down to handle it without crippling 
the the builders and the need to wipe out a bunch of this taskbar up here. So let's go lay out a foundation, guys. And then we're going to continue moving these two out into these new houses as they pop in. You are put on hold. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we haven't thought yet, but we're getting real close, and there's still nobody here. Okay, and we'll prove it next winter, or disprove it, one or the other. Um, you guys are all coming in. If I remember right, I had, yeah, so 1,000's already been taken of the charcoal of the 11,000 or something that was being called, and so far nobody is replacing it, so I may have proved myself wrong. Although, if, there we go, 1,000's on its way. If this all happens in February, there should be no problem because there's lots of laborers available. If that happened in March and the sewing began, we, we may not be able to get a laborer to help no matter what. But there's another 1,000 coming. We should be loading up a 1,000 and sending it away. Oh, somebody just left. What have you got? Apples. Okay, we need 2,700 apples. Did that happen? Or 1,700 apples, and it did. The other seven is there. Okay, so that one worked. You are on your way, and you are probably going to be low. Oh, you you brought a sallow. Okay, good. And you just showed up, but I can't click on it because the other one was there first. Which is kind of nice. You can see who's on top. But there is nobody working here right now, is there? Visiting a church, supplying, buying firewood, and taking a rest. Uh, supplying resources, but then when you're done, you're just going to leave. So, who's the first one coming back? I guess you are. Boy, will they... I know there's a time limit on how long they're willing to stay. The one who is bringing resources back is probably going to go drop off his cart and vanish. Yeah, a couple of those, go drop off the cart and probably take a rest, right? Um... You went to get more resources. Wow. Okay. Well, going to work. There you are. And you're up and running. Okay. So, send these guys off. You are... You unloaded the sallow. You've got some dried fish for us. And unload that. Perfect. And you are here to pick up charcoal. There you go. So... We were back to 10,000 again. There's another 1,000 on its way. Okay. We're fine. River has thawed. And this doesn't hire officially. On There we go. Man, now you hired. <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't officially run until April, but... Yeah. I guess well, I'll just leave that there so that somebody will remain hired into next winter. That's probably the the way to guarantee that it happens. Okay, pause. We're into March. What is happening here? Not a thing. So we're waiting for someone to hire on. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I shut you down until April, then we'll have a wave of people leaving no, then you'll be competing. I guess I should leave you on. Because everything else will hire too. So you may or may not find somebody. So I'll just leave that up there. I want to be able to see this thing run. And you're still making iron. And somebody needed a cart from there or something. And something failed. So we've got a, uh, um, a string shot across the map. And there's probably a tin can at the end of each end of that string so they can they can communicate uh, you need two people I didn't know that okay well learn that lesson so you need two people and we'll hang here a little bit how let's slow it down oh there it is okay but you haven't come to work yet how are we doing farming wise we've got a good roster over here full and we get some cattle out over here and one got plowed. You don't need plowing and you're sowed. You're sowing. Ah, and another worker just grabbed the plow. Okay. I figured one plow could handle this place. So by that logic, one plow could probably handle this place too. Because they will be sowing this one. 
this one. Oh, this year we got two that hit at the same time for fallow. So nobody's sowing anything over here. Okay. And over here, we've got potatoes that didn't need plowing. And that one is already sowed. And this one we're working on. And this one almost. Uh, number of workers. Got about the same amount in that one. And none over here because we're not calling for them yet. And did that change over here? No, about the same. Okay. So, you came to work. There it is. So, the river's going this way, which should be turning it like that. Apparently, I picked the wrong side of the river. <laughs> anyway. Iron ore loaded, charcoal loaded. Oh. There we go. So, we're... Dumping it all in from the top. Okay. That actually it does make sense if you watch. Um, what was it primitive technology? Is that the one I posted before? How he builds, how he smelts iron that he makes out of iron bacteria in a in a in a river or a creek. It's kind of an interesting process. Maybe I'll pop that video in the. Uh, in the uh, oh, the show more down there, the information, so you can see the process on a much smaller scale than this, a little clay uh, kiln like that to make it, but same concept, where he stacks charcoal and well iron, in a sense, he uses the bacteria to uh, create kind of an iron dust that he then smelts, but it's it's an interesting process to watch. Okay, so that is the smelter. So we're just going... Yeah, there's the, the current. Interesting. So there you, there you have it. You want to rotate it if, in, in, on your own map to, uh, to flow with the river properly. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't switch based on the, the position of, of your particular river. Okay, so you guys are still doing your thing. We're just going low-key right now on iron, iron production. Not uh, pushing it, though I am curious where we're at here. Our own iron is 266, so we're loading this up. Okay, I guess this is the progress bar. Must be, based upon what we've loaded in. So as the charcoal goes in further, uh, charcoal is right here. You are supplying resources, so you're picking up more iron. Okay, you're off there to get iron. And you're taking a rest and you're working. So are you going to grab charcoal? I assume you're heading up the, uh, the stairs now. So as we see this guy, well, we've already moved our iron uh, progress bar up to there. Okay. Interesting. So I guess they'll just kind of track each other till they hit an amount. I don't know what that amount's going to be. We'll have to we'll have to check in later and see how that's doing. All right, so everything here, you are sowing. You're waiting. Should be sowing our first field over here, though. Not a whole lot of folks have jumped into this one. Looks like it just became available, and we should have our own. Yeah, right there. You're actually the one who's doing it. Okay, going to work, so you're almost there, and you're taking a rest, and you are almost there, too. So, hopefully we'll get more to jump in over there. Let's speed up a little bit. I did, that's right, I do remember hearing a a, a chime a while ago, and just, that memory just kind of came back to me. Only one person left over here, and you're just working on, oh, because we don't have a need yet. This one has sowed and we're still plowing the other one. Okay, so there is a reason to put a second plow in. Yeah, it doesn't keep up. Okay, now we know. Uh, I'm not going to deal with that yet though until we start seeing these exclamation points going away. You are a village house. Okay, put on hold. So we will move you into here and you What just happened? Somebody just married and took it? Interesting. The instant I clicked on that, it gave it to them instead. Huh. Okay. That was unexpected. 
Yeah, okay, we're going to have to get a few of these houses in line. Mm-hmm, so you're working on that one next. Put on hold. We'll just keep putting all these on hold until we accomplish the goal here. Because it may continue to uh, jump ahead of us each time if there's a marriageable couple. Interesting. Uh, Marifa, how far out are you? Right there? Yeah. So you are... Whoa, one day left. Just got you in time. Okay, so you will buy our salt. You won't buy much. So, and we're starting to dwindle our town supplies. It was over 10,000 before, but we've decreased the production. So we should be able to get that down to four or 5,000. And that's probably a more reasonable amount to store here and there around town. And then we'll kick it back up again later. So sell you, it's already in stock, so we don't need to, to move it in. Um, let's see, you are willing to sell to us. Nothing that we would need right now. You want to buy from us sunflower oil. And you'll buy $22.70. Let's do that. $22.70 coming in. You're right there. Okay. Mariffa, sunflower oil. Flower, how are we doing? Hey, we're finally working again. Okay, so let's move at least 500 of that out, the, the original older 500, and 600? Let's move 600 out. Let's do that. Deal, and over here, flower, and 600. Great. What else? Chicken eggs, horseshoes, salt, iron, metal parts, flax. That is it. Okay. Okay. You guys are good. And we will see if... Let me think about that. Sunflower oil and flour. So you guys must all... Yeah. You're already supplying other things. You're on your way to work. So we have to wait for a, a laborer to trigger to start bringing these guys over. But that should be fine. Okay, so where were we? We're checking in on these guys. Um... Oh, we're still plowing over there. We're just finishing up. Did we get any more laborers? We got a bunch of laborers. Okay. It takes a while, but they they do they can reach this farm now. So that that's a good number right there. Are you mostly done? You are not mostly done. Everybody's helping out with this one. So when this wave finishes, which is just about to happen, that should be just in time to trigger filling up these for that last field. So I think we're going to be fine. So who else were we waiting to employ? So we've gone around already, haven't we? Hmm. I think we have. Have we already filled it up and gone again? It seems like these would have moved. That's about where they were when we saw last. I'm not sure. Has somebody already picked up iron? Um... Let's pause a second here and check all of our iron places. There's no green arrow there. Iron is here, though there is no green arrow. Iron is here. Uh, right there, no green arrow. Huh. So what does that mean? Nobody has added any more since we were here last, yet this continues to go? Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll wait to see what happens when that hits there. I would think that they would all hit at the same time. Okay. Um, how did we do as far as emptying out the stocks over here? We still have a lot of peas, and that's it. Okay. The stocks over here. We have some flour oil supposed to be there. We have less than one buckwheat, so that's just like a glitch. And some more peas. The peas we have the most of, so it's probably what they're taking the longest time to handle. Oh, we've maxed out. Okay. So, do we even deal with little granaries over there? Or do we just put in a series of these big guys? They have the same number of employees, but they have 20,000 storage instead of 10,000 storage. So that we could have 10,000 
of the peas. An ox died of old age, and I actually noticed it. Okay. So, I take it I can just grab an ox over here. Though, I was hoping not to split up this pair. Let's use this pair. Well, I'll wait until the carts are done. And I'm assuming I can just move an ox over and not have to have the carpenter deal with this. But let's see. So leave these guys for farm number three. Was there another actual ox? There is not. Over here, there's another pair. Should all be the same age. Ox one year. Ox one year. Okay. So there's another pair. Although... The chance of them actually pairing up is actually pretty small. So let's just grab you and put you in here. You'll replace that one. And you well, the other one's going to go away pretty soon. Can I do that? It won't tell me the age of the, of the remaining one. Okay. Are you going to get it? You're buying food. So that was just a coincidence. So cow shed ladies should be bringing it, right? One of them. Uh, taking a rest, milking cow, and going to work. Milking cow means you're heading through the woods where's the pathway uh, looks like it's right here the pathway that's forming so that may be the pathway that we want to take I have to figure that out what pathway through the woods we really want these guys to plow maybe I want to get rid of a lot of these and take this down through here and, and team up with this road instead Maybe that's what needs to be done. Instead of out here into the middle of the fields. Hmm. Now... That would make sense. We'd come down here and turn and go across the bridge. To whatever is waiting over here for us. Huh. Well, it's going to be a while before we have to make that decision anyway. Oh, not too long. Maybe next episode. Um, I started forming it from here, so they're going to work on trees from this point going out so I could still well, I guess I could just eliminate these right now just to make sure until we decide what that's going to really look like you guys can just work on those for now okay um, what are you guys doing <clears throat> you guys are on maintenance mode uh, getting a log you're bringing it in now okay maintenance mode as far as it being March then you go back to 5 in April Otherwise, getting a log to forestry, you still have a little time left. Are you going to go get another one? You're going to go chop another one. So in that case, they actually last longer, at least the forestry guys, than their normal work period. I mentioned last time they tend to spend a lot of time taking a break. Oh, chopping logs for firewood. Okay, never mind. Never mind. And he just broke a hand right there in front of us. He went away. Where are you? Yep. You are in here? But where are you right now? I assume that you are standing right there. Ah, okay. So, yeah, right there in front of us. So, it'd be interesting to see if you make a house call. Previous month's income, 40. Last time it was zero. Okay. So, more people working here and more of these people doing more dangerous work yeah more doctor visits could be but apparently last time they didn't do any haircuts <laughs> they have zero income um over here you guys are done no you're finishing up that field most of them are are kind of uh, checking in right now they're mostly done over here how'd we do you are got a full slate and you are Working on this one, getting to that one. Then you guys are all done, right? Yeah, you're long since done. So, carpenters, how are you guys doing? Carpentry has wiped out all of the necessary, uh, the, uh, the, the carts in queue, which is this one. They're all in place. Now they should be working on these next, or so I'm assuming. I guess it depends on if these triggered first. Apparently they did, because those are done. And we got these three and those four. And over here? There's none over there. How about over here? 
you're in good shape. So I don't know if we're heading for these next or if we're heading for these next. I have to wait and see, or can can we even see it happen? No, you're you're not there, and you are wrong place. You are grabbing a cart from all the way over here. Okay, uh, carpentry is down to one because of March. Okay, so what's next? We did the trader. You guys are not fully employed yet. Shearing. 773 with another 480 stored and nobody has brought any over to here the oh i know what i wanted to check so yeah we were talking about this so granaries over there maybe we will skip the little ones this is going to be a more massive storage system for the entire map so that the market the market, the market, the market, and probably a market can all grab from here. But not just that, need to also grab clothes, shoes, needs to grab salt, and sunflower oil. All the things that we make all need to make it to this point to then be distributed out to all of those markets to then go out to everybody in this way. So I think that is the the ultimate goal right there as far as, as distribution. So when is it time to start dealing with that? I guess it could be at any point. I didn't want to deal with it too quickly because this right now is pretty much central to what we have built so far. So popping it all over here kind of puts it out at an edge. And it's, is it time to start playing with that edge, or is it time to, uh, you know, let the town grow up around it first? So, I don't know. So, right now I'm just kind of waiting on what's going to happen over here as far as getting these houses built. And I keep taking it down to low speed. I do. So, how is our occupancy in the cemetery? <laughs> We've been running for 23 years. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is all that we've lost in 23 years. That's pretty good. Am I running at 3? Wow, I would ne almost never see them moving that quickly. How are you guys doing as far as getting your flour taken away? You're fine. You're fine. Sunflower oil is being taken away. Shoes are being taken away. So March and August are a great month for that. I've got so many completed pause so many laborers suddenly available to go and kind of clean everything up so this time we'll try one more time you are on hold you i want you to relocate to here it worked this time did i do that wrong the last time or was that just the game saying uh 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 these folks are first so you are empty and you are going to be demolished Let's drop you in next, just to get that going so I can get these laid out sooner. Okay, so that's slowly happening. Cherry tree. Yeah, cherry tree, that reminds me of something. So let's go over here and show you something that I discovered between episodes. I, I'm going to slow it down for this so I can catch other things that are happening. I wanted to put a corner house. I'll grab this guy. On here not because I want a corner because I thought it would make a nice kind of an end cap for over here of course it's going to have that blank in it and I don't really care for that so I guess in that sense it doesn't really work but even so if we line that up fairly close like so I can't get any closer than there because of the bridge a little uh, teal square in there access point so I can't make them touch here and yet, this was in place first. Somehow I was able to place these buildings. Well, maybe this one isn't... Well, let's see that. Yeah, this one made it. But this one let me place it. That was not there first. This bridge was here first. So how I got away with it the first time, but can't get away with it the second time, I don't know what to do there. So, I cannot put a building 
up against this and continue this for one more time. This is just going to stick out a little further. Had to because this has to be mirror imaged to have the, uh, the carriage pass through in line as well. So the building sticks out this side. So, to make that look better, it was suggested in the comments last episode that we think about putting a school out over here. I mean, that school is way over there. Will it reach these guys? And have we ever brought a kid into this school? No. <laughs> I may have to just give up on this one. It didn't work over here, and it's not working over here. So, 16, so we missed that one. Um, it's 10 to 15. So, what is our furthest 10 to 15 year old from the main school over there? There's an 11. So, I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce that name. But you're 11 and you've got that face. Are you over there? School. You are this little guy right here. No, you're not. Wait a minute, do that again. Same face. You're not in school. Not in this school. Over here. No, you're not in this school either. So you're not in school. Right there. Uh, what are you officially doing? You're buying food. Okay, let's speed you up a bit. And let you buy the food and come back and see if you go to school. And if you do, where? And then you guys explain to me why. So, I, I, I don't get it, but this little 11 year old is off there to grab some buckwheat. I didn't know we were selling buckwheat. We're selling buckwheat? We're still selling buckwheat over here. How are we for buckwheat in the system? Can we do that? 2,000. Let's get rid of buckwheat. No more buckwheat. Okay. So, anyway, we lost our little 11 year old. Right there. Right here. You are playing around. So, you are not going to school. Hmm. I wonder how the game calculates that. I see the uh, gardens are going in. Do they randomly go to school? Do they have to go to school? Do they go to school certain months of the year? Why were those five over there going to school and this one is not? Is there something broken with this primary school? And he just lives too far away from the one school that's actually working. And this one, for some reason, the game will not recognize a third school. All of this to come up with the answer, do I build another school or is it a waste of resources? Because that might be a use for this area right here for the population that's going to live in here. I don't know. School was here. It's the right kind of architecture. It looks good. Next to a smeltery. Mm, there's a problem. In which case, I think I would prefer it to be out over here somewhere. Uh, this is the end. Now, we've got this guy turned out this way. I guess we need to f come up with a reason to force people to start walking out this way. But this doesn't have to be in line. This could be further in, like this, and even rotated, you know, something like that. Okay. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Main road goes through. Well, before we get to that point, what was that last one? House has been demolished. Okay. Um, nothing else is going on of great importance. One thing that I was concerned about <clears throat> space wise here if we move this down I could put a one more house over here one more child has been born one more row house and just kind of finish this end off what I wanted to do was to put in this fencing right here 
somewhere out in here. Enough room away so that we could put fruit trees in here. That is one way to give these guys a harvestable crop. They could all quickly make a bunch of dried fruit if we have a nice variety of fruit trees within their courtyard. Another courtyard over here if we wanted to or, or something. But I can't really realistically do that with enough room over here unless it just kind of popped out here and over and then forced this road around and do that. If this bridge was shorter. And if it was shorter, I hate to rebuild it, but if it was shorter, then it would start lower. Which means it wouldn't have to be so long over here. Which kind of looks funny. Hmm. So if we were to eliminate... There's a lot of traffic on this bridge. There really is. If we were to eliminate this bridge first and rebuild it. And we could rebuild it in stone as well as this one. Then we could make it shorter because it will start lower. And it would give more room to give this finished look over here that I'm wanting. I think that's a thing. And once this is done, then we tear this guy down and redo it in stone. Whether or not this one ever gets that treatment, I don't know. I don't know that it's truly necessary. Though I do wish I'd lined it up a little bit better. <laughs> Though I lined it up with the field. That's how I chose it. Okay. And maybe it is lined up right. Maybe these trees come out and the road actually travels into here into the common area then pops out lower into here I, they don't have to span the whole land here all in a perfect line could be two different roads that meet in a, into a circle yeah could do that so you ran over here to repair carts that one there's three over here that need to be worked on and we had one more right there okay I'm just Noticing how long it's taking to get to these. I wonder how the game prioritizes that. Is it by which one broke first? Or is it by which cart shed was built first? And it's got a... Somehow an age or a date or a code associated with it. And it sorts by that particular order. I don't know. I thought by now... This, is, this exclamation point's been here for quite a long time now. So I thought by now it would have uh, would have done something. Um, okay, I feel like I'm in the middle of three different conversations and none of them have been fully answered. This guy needs to come out. We're building houses over here to finish these. So there's two irons that are in the fire right now. Ah, oh, that's that's what's feeling in incomplete. Blackley has eight has eleven days left. Blacklia, you sell a stone. Let's slow down one more time. Something else that I noticed. I kind of crawl around this thing in between episodes and just look things over. And Stone is nearing an end. One, two, three, four. Right? There's nothing left further around. Oh, there it is. There is more. Yeah, it continues on around here. Any more in there? No, but there's a few more in here. When do we want to start buying stone again? I've, unfortunately, I've got no way to really... Well, okay, 143 is not that much. Over there, 390 and... Oh, they're pulling it out of these. Okay. So you're pulling it out of these, and that's the only two left that I'm seeing in this area. Did it surround the whole end over here at one point? So, we've got those, we've got a 600, a 300, an 1100, and an 800. So we've still got close to 3,000 stone over here. Okay. So, in that case, and what's in town? Can I do it this way? Stone, there's 13,000. There's still 16,000 stone available to us. So, no, we don't need to buy stone. All that to say... No, we'll skip that line right there. Okay. Um, iron, there's 300 in town. 
So, how have we been doing? We actually have iron sitting here in reserve, and these are not tracking in any way that's that's logical. Okay. So we don't need to fully load. I guess it's it's just continuously loading and smelting. So I'm 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 thinking it more in the terms of batches. Fill it up and make it. Fill it up and make it. This seems to be more of a continuous process. Throw in some iron, throw in some charcoal, and just continue to make iron ore. Then I guess as we get to an end, we get a number. So speed you, well I can't speed you up too much. We need to come back because I still got to deal with, uh, with the trade. But <clears throat> I'd like to be there when this hits an end and see what happens right here. You have got seven days left. Okay, so we do not need iron anymore. We can at least keep a trickle going. Maybe we'll ramp that up a little bit more and keep enough going for ourselves. Not so much enough to sell at this point, but we've got access to it now. Um, I'm not seeing anything in here that we need to buy right now to sell. We've got enough for ourselves. Potatoes. Um, that happened last... Pause for a second here. Last August... And we've been using them through the winter. I'm trying to remember what that said last episode. 2,400? 2,700? 2,400? We've used probably about 800 potatoes on our own. For, let's see, 10 months? Uh, May, June, July. Yeah, 10 months. So, 800 for 10 months. And potatoes are stored over here. And... They're actually doing pretty good as far as rot goes. That's more than a year's worth. If that started last August. Yeah. So do we want to sell them is what I'm getting at. What's being... We, I know we had one potato crop. Buckwheat, flax, potatoes there. This one went fallow. So you are buckwheat and you are sunflower. There's always a sunflower and always a buckwheat. This guy's kind of a random mix right now. So there is one batch of potatoes coming. And that's June, July, August. So, and we, what did I say we had 600 left? World map, potatoes, 1600 left. Okay. Let's take that down to 300. So let's sell 1300 of them. And deal. <clears throat> and let's get that happening right now because that's, going to be coming from all over the map probably. Uh, potatoes, they're probably sitting in two different farms as well as the uh, the granary over there. So 1300 and temporary stock you. Okay. So and I got that right, right? Yeah, 1300. So dried fish, sunflower oil. All right. We're still doing really good on the sunflower oil. Let's you you'll buy 513. We'll just go that route. Sunflower oil, 513. There we go. And get you running again. Boom, boom. They're already starting to be brought in. Anything else to sell you guys? Uh, clothes. How are we doing on clothes? 220 again. Okay. Um, textile. Textile should be an awful lot in town. And there's even more probably stored in the, uh, um, the tailor shop. Leather. I had a comment come in. How come whenever you want to look at uh, <laughs> at iron and leather, you, you, you peek up there, but all the rest you do, you know, you, you just go this route. Well, it's because that's what I did at the beginning of the game, and that just kind of stuck in my mind is the way you deal with leather and iron. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning. So we've got 1,600 in town. I think that's plenty, plus there's, there's more in the tailor shop. Maybe the shoemaker shop, yeah. Metal parts, we are at 320 despite the issue with the carts. We're fine there. Horse tack, honey, and we're done. Okay, so you're finished. And what else was I looking at? I was looking at this. Did we... We did not fill the bar. Two. Let's see if we can get that... Oh, not enough iron. So we're done. Okay. So we have outpaced this guy. 
And we aren't getting any wood, but you're doing that right now, aren't you? So, who are you? Oh, you're rocks. Okay. You are bringing the wood. Right there, you've got a thousand. Okay. So, if I were to stock more than a thousand, can I do that? That's here. Uh, wood. You can hold 11,000. So let's stock 2,500. We have a, a load of wood in town. Wood is 30,000. And I did drop the numbers down significantly over here. So what did that do to us long term? We're, we have a little cushion now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So that's there. So who's working on these right now? You're right there. Anybody taking trees down? Any teams of two running over here? If they are, I don't see them. Whatever happened to our 11-year-old? You're still 11, and you're still playing around. You won't go to school. You won't take a kid. And apparently none of them reach here. So I don't know what to do with the schools. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. And when do we take the bridge down? I think we take it down as soon as we move this uh, this third house. See if we can even get that done this episode. So we're working on this one right now. So I guess it'll depend on if there is a marriageable couple in town to grab this instead. And if that actually is a thing or somehow I clicked the wrong thing. Did I? i got to go back and see when I edit it. If, see if I undid the put on hold before I transferred in that. That, that that tiny bit of time was enough to have somebody else jump the gun. That might have been it. I don't remember now exactly what I did. You have got 6,400 hay. You have got 68 and 60. So let's watch these guys for a while. You guys buying food, visiting a chapel, milking cows, which means you're out in the field. Which is a long walk for you and taking a rest. So that didn't help. You are going to work. Okay. Taking a rest and going to work. So speed you guys up. I want to see if you milk cows or if you go and cut hay. You're milking cows and you're heading over here to do that. Okay. So milking cows is a higher priority than filling up these guys. That's... At least as far as the cow shed workers. How are the sheep workers doing? Going to work. There we go. You were mowing grass for hay. Mowing grass for hay. And mowing grass for hay. So you guys are doing it. So is it because we have so many rams? That could very well be a thing. Construction of a house done. Okay. So let's try moving you in to here and relocating worked okay i must have unchecked that that put on hold thing then that's the only thing i can think of so i well i was gonna say i don't have a reason to move anybody in but we still don't have anybody here okay so they seem to be accomplishing their needs and i i'm guessing so even if nobody is working there uh have married no! No! <sighs> okay. I'm, I missed a step. I didn't demolish that thing. Okay. So, in that case, we are still waiting. <laughs> 50 or so minutes in. Yeah. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll do it again. It's, it's, it's not a crisis. We'll make it happen. Okay. So, you need to step up and hire on more like that. And you're all year round in order to keep this guy functioning at all. Okay. So, let's turn you guys off for a while. We're heading into... Well, we got May or May. Let's do two months on, one month off. So there. There. Something like that. That should 
in a sense, keep up with whatever these guys are up to at the time. Okay. So here, 2,500, you can only store, or iron mine, you can store 10,000 iron ore. Not 1,000. That's what I thought I was seeing there. Okay. Or 1,000 over here, as far as making iron. Uh, died of an illness. Okay. You were over here. And <clears throat> that is the closest cemetery. Someone else was born, so maintained our uh, population. Yep, yeah, you went there. I think that one was... Let's see, do that now. There. Your name was... Yep, yeah, right there. And... You are that one. Yep. So, personal log, you... Worked in market stalls and granaries and small granaries and fulling mills and warehouses and farms. And most of the time left because the season ended or personal preference. Yeah, I never fired you. Nice. <laughs> still, nothing going on in there. So, just to verify, we are still cleaning up. Yeah, there were three here at one time. You were all hurting, now we're down to one. So they're just taking care of these first. Interesting. So it's still working. They're just not uh, doing what the closest one first, which is what I would have assumed. And we're still keeping you well stocked up. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Um, so we're waiting for one more house to build. And that, oh, that's not going to happen now. Because we're still taking trees down. So I've got a bunch of construction guys not doing a thing. Yeah. And I'm not ready to start working on these houses. So we're either another row house or we take down a bridge. Do we do it? I think we do it. Now, what happens if I say demolish and this person's walking on it? Do they suddenly plunge to their... Their doom. Demolish. No. It just becomes... Apparently they're still going to be able to use it? Or everybody who already had a pathway. Now they can still use it until it goes away. Okay. You head into here. We'll work on you. And then we'll replace that as soon as we can. Get that set to go. Um, how much stone is a bridge that size? I don't remember. Uh, here. Stone. Drop you in about there and head out to here. Um, you're not even going to display a number. But I'm thinking we're stopping this one here this time. Which means... I'd say just past the, uh, the weeds. So let me move my camera. Height wise, that looks pretty good. Right there. So there's a much shorter one, but it's not going to give me a number because the place is occupied. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to happen. So we should have everybody over here, and we are demolishing. So you are demolishing from this end? Yep, you are. Other people are still using it? or No, these are all builders now. So now they're going that way. The bridge is no longer. Okay need these guys to get these trees taken down and apparently it's happening there you go good so don't have a forester crisis going on they're going to take a while to take this one apart that's a big bridge it really is so i wonder if as they take it apart they get to here i can lay another bridge out probably not because i see we still have flags over here even though this is gone now nah. Can't shortcut that one. Gonna have to wait for the whole demolition. Okay, so over here, everything is planted. We're into June. So July are these guys. Okay. <clears throat> You're waiting. You just rehired. This is your, your month to run, so we're waiting for one more person to, to hire on, and you'll work on some stuff. Otherwise, you are heading off to go get some iron ore while these guys do their job. So, just got to get someone hired. Still tearing that down. So, how are we doing out here as far as water goes? We got those wells in. 
this well over here has caught up. And there is a well over here. You're full. And we put in the well over here, and that one's full. How are we doing for water out in this neighborhood now that we've added all these extra houses? There's a well over here, and you're barely making it. There's no production that should be grabbing from here anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But luckily is here. Another well in this area was right there. And you're barely making it. Uh, we could kill production too, but still there's very few people who would have been using it. There's a well in here. And production, production. I better leave... Well, you're actually a real convenient one. Here we go. Yeah, the chickens will be I, I assume their production so they can, we'll leave that available for them to grab since there isn't well we could put a platform in here that probably wouldn't be a bad idea all right we'll do that we'll wear a pathway right through there okay so you can be moved into next since we're still five trees to go there and at that point we could change this one to just um, just citizens, but I just can't see a chicken coop using that much water. Out over here, we put a well there. And yeah, none of these wells are really filling up. So we are taxing them pretty good. And the um, the farm is probably using that one a lot. Okay. And no, the farm is using this one. That one is just for citizens. Okay. So we're okay there, but it feels like we need to get one more well in here somewhere. I just don't know where. So we're represented there, here, here. How do we get a well further? Well, there's no access. It's kind of a closed loop. If we put it anywhere, it'd be right here. And that actually kind of works. Let's look at that. Spin you around. Something like that. Yeah, we could do that. This still leaves plenty of room to get around. Drop you in next to that one. In fact, in front of that one. Okay. How are we doing here? We're third of the way done. Okay. Balaclia, let's go deal with you real quick. Uh, right here. Where are you? You're right there. Okay. So you will sell us these things. What? Really? How did I miss it that fast? Wow. Okay. Well, we're into July. We can watch the, uh, the orchards higher. You just shut down. No, you're still running. You're running for two months at a time. June, July, and then you take a break. Okay. And you still have iron, you do. Or iron ore. Okay. So waiting for three ladies. There's one. To jump over there. Otherwise, there's only one person working maintenance, in a sense, for the farm. All three hired. Okay. You're all hired. Chickens. I did put three in there just to see if more eggs would come out. Um, we can kind of look at that. I think it's, I think it's been a full year. Let's slow down and see if that's a thing here. So, resources, eggs, chicken eggs, right there. I don't see a big surge last year. So 42, 43, we're in 43, we're in 44. Okay. Is that out of sync or am I out of sync? Either way, I expected at this point this would be up like here. Let's try to remember to go back to this after the end of this year. But I thought we had all of last year doing this too. So maybe not. Uh, cow milk? Uh, milk. Can we see a pattern there? Milk. Okay, so this is about about the point. I assume we're working on this year now. Yeah, so this is where we would have added all those extra ones for the 
um, mowing of the grass, which should have also turned into some more milking. Okay. Not as, as extreme a difference as I was expecting to justify three times the wages. So there's that way to, uh, to meter it or to compare it. Um, anything else we need to really check on this episode? Because I think we're getting... Yeah, we're about that point, aren't we? Um, didn't get to this, so it will be next episode that I rebuild this area as far as the the uh, the longer houses, uh, lots in here. Okay. And, yeah, the next house is still waiting for trees to come down. Okay. Um, five people? Three out of five are working there. And you are maintaining you're barely not really so it's going to take probably two mines to keep this guy going july you see this one again we don't have seasonal hiring going on no and you were going to have to cripple this even further okay so something like actually reverse those two so you're there and so three off. Well, we'll do that one. So these two are off. We'll do that one. These are off. We'll do that one. Yeah. So that's just kind of like what I did with the Soapworks. Soapworks is pretty much down to just two months a year. We just can't get enough tallow in there to do it. That's one thing I was thinking about doing was sending a bunch of rams in. But we'll, maybe we'll work with that one next time. I think we're done here for now. I think we've done enough to... Uh, Oh, to advance the town a bit more. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.